Well, hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Live with Naz, an hour of laughter and encouragement coming to you from Corona, California, in this beautiful, beautiful 50, is it 50 degrees? Oh, shoot, here we go. I knew it. Okay, guys. Okay, this is what's going to happen. Is this gonna do this again? Okay. I guess Naz has to go try a different shirt. That's what's gonna happen. Beauty break coming. All right. This is a lot better. So we don't have to have my face being my brain showing to everybody else and you figuring out how much brain I have. So welcome to show 406. Let's invite our friends from the other side to join with us on this beautiful Wednesday night, and uh, tomorrow night, ladies and gentlemen, I will be in Dayton, Ohio, which means it's going to be 26 degrees, which means you need to pray, because it's too cold, too cold for me, people. Uh, my first exposure to this nation, stop it. Stop, stop it, stop. You stop, buddy. Okay. Okay, stop, stop. Which means you need to pray. Uh-uh, I don't need to, okay. Stop. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see who's joining us. Sarah, how are you? Sarah, 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 Sarah. And then we have Kathleen Otis. Hi, Kathleen, a new friend. Hello, thank you for joining us, Kathleen. Welcome to the show. And let's see who else is joining us today. Uh, Sarah Nes, can you see my comment? Uh, okay, yes, I do. Okay, where is this not showing? Here we go. Let's see. Okay, come on. Okay, let's come on and check. Okay, here we go. All right, why is this not moving? Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Thank you for joining us, Ness. Why is this not moving? Let's see, i just try this again. Thank you. Let's try this. Technical difficulties, ladies and gentlemen. It, it happens to the best of us. But let's see if we can do it now. Okay. Today, here we go. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Hi, old beautiful people. Okay, Naz, I hope you can find a shirt that doesn't make it look like there's a hole in your forehead. Yes, that's true. Why is this not moving? Okay, how come my reply? Okay, it's not letting me. This is interesting. 
I'm not being able to go down on the comments. Hold on. John? I'm going to have to read the comments from here. When Naz's shirt shows the inside of his forehead, there's nothing there. Sorry, Naz. <laughs> hello, Becky. Hello, Bobby Miller. My pastor, Rari, say hello to you, Naz. Thank you. I love Raul. It's okay, Naz. I said you couldn't see my comments when actually you're saying something about your shirt. Okay, it's not moving on this here. I don't know what's going on, but let's see. Okay. Okay. okay, how about... No, I can't read your messages, guys. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to read it from here. Uh, let's see. Frank is here. Welcome, Frank. Where is Tally when you need her? Tally is downstairs with John. I always found the sledgehammer and duct tape fixes everything. That's true. Becky, how are you? I think Nash should have a collection of shirts labeled do not wear. I now find out. I used to think the green shirts are the ones that are a problem, but actually, no. So actually, anything with blue in it is the one that's going to be a problem. Come on, technology, be nice. Comments are not moving on my desktop. Me neither. I don't know what's going on. So I'm on my phone. There, that's why. That's the only way I can do it. All right. Michelle Wilson, how are you? Hope to see you on Friday. And Debbie Malone, how are you? Okay. So, here's my thing about Americans. Remember, I told you I wrote about, you know the book about Americans. Um, Americans love to volunteer, but there's people in America that love to get, not only give but to get. There's a lot more getting people want to get even the language reflected here like uh i do appreciate the ones that give and volunteer because there are so many people in this country that just want to get that's why the word give is not used a lot but always getting you get a ticket you get a penalty you get in trouble you get a dui you get arrested you get laid off you get married you get rich you get a fine you get a deported you get promoted you get up you get going and you get back you get down and you get up and if you don't want any of that you just give up or give in. See where they use the words use give is used, but everything else is getting. So that's my thought on this. Okay, Frank says super glue. That will be there. Michelle will be there. Good. Good evening, Naz. Hello, family. Ellen Goodwin, how are you? Okay, something we get what we don't want. Sometimes we get what we don't want. That's true. You're always getting. Okay, let's see. Is this working? No. Uh, Facebook is not going to do it today. Thank you, Facebook. Let's see if we make it smaller. Nope, not working. Okay, I'm glad I have my phone. Brad Harris is watching. Hello, Brad. Thank you for joining us, first timer. All we ask, Brad, is city and state where you are. And Miss Otis, too, as well. Just tell us where you are, city and state. That's all we're asking. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Facebook is just being old cranky. Yes. I don't get I didn't get COVID, but they gave me vaccine and booster shots. James Blind is here. I can identify with that and the Omicron. Yes, I will be there. I try, Naz. We'll be there where? I'm in Ohio, brother. Matthew Dirks is watching from heat wave Wisconsin probably they're having a heat wave like 30 that's their heat wave this winter all right Beverly Wicks how are you welcome to the show and uh, so here's your first question for tonight and okay I don't think I can write it for oh let me give you the top 20 first Top 20, the best thing about being single. The best thing about being single. Uh, here we go. At number 20, don't have to share anything with anyone. At number 19, nobody's going to steal my dessert. Number 18, my shower is free from women products. Number 17, don't have to share the remote. Number 16, not having to hide my unbecoming habits from anyone. 
at number 15 on my own schedule whenever, wherever, whatever. At number 14, laughing at my own stillness without hearing grief from someone else. At number 13, can walk around the house with no clothes on. Number 12, I don't have to play dumb for the sake of his ego. At number 11, more parking space on my sidewalk. At number 10, more room in the garage with just my stuff. At number 9, no daycation at Bass Pro. <laughs> number 8, you can sleep around on the left, right, top, or bottom of the bed. At number 7, no, no pain and more money. Number 6, no one looking at your scale. Number 5, not confusing dentures. And the top number four reasons, best thing about being single. No mother-in-law. At number three, everything you do is right. At number two, not having to listen to anyone else's snoring. And the number one, I can drink straight from the milk carton. That's right. Okay, no gray matter anymore. Rita is here. Hello, Rita. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see if I can fix this a little bit. Okay, let's see, does this, nope, not happening. Here we go, let's see, does this do it? No, okay, let's see if this can do it. Nope. Okay, here we go. Nope, okay, this is not gonna do it. Here we go, at number five. No, no, it's Facebook, people. So, all right, here's your first question for the night, people. What you don't want to hear on your cruise ship, okay? What you don't want to hear on your cruise ship. Here on your cruise ship. Okay. What you don't want to hear on your cruise ship. Okay, let's send this. And let's see if we can pin comment. Perfect. You're going down in 30 seconds. Evacuate. We are drowning. Okay. Hi, Becky, Sarah. You're going to relax. Dave Ebert, I can eat where I want, when I want, without a debate of expository question and answer session. From DFW, first time was last night, watching my cousin Scott Shufford. Oh, I loved Scott. Thank you, Brad. Dallas, Fort Worth, I love your area. You're getting a lot of our Californians. <laughs> I'm flying, Jack. <laughs> Things you don't want to hear on a cruise ship. This is what Rita wrote. Captain overboard. Attention honeymooners. We upgraded your cabin to bunk bed. <laughs> Attention. If you want our fish menu, please bring your own worms. Uh, number four. Hope you enjoy our open easy windows. <laughs> At number five. In case of fire, jump overboard. And the last thing, what you don't want to hear on a cruise ship from Rita. Hope you're enjoying the patched up Titanic. Okay, let's see what you guys put. All the water has been shut off. <laughs> Not even God can sing this ship. The song Nearer My God to Thee. You don't want to hear that. Becky doesn't want to hear that. Michelle said, looks like the ship came down with norovirus. Oh, no. Hey, James. How did your last COVID test go? <laughs> okay. Oh, Titanic the musical is the onboard play. Strike up the bang. <laughs> Strike up the band from the Titanic, Dolores. Dave said, our chef lost a band-aid last night. Fingernail today. Ouch. Michelle said, any Celine Dion songs? You don't want to hear it on a cruise ship. <laughs> oh. Frank said, we need to go to your rooms. Uh-oh. Bobby, we're stuck. You're stuck and everybody's going to get COVID. Brad said, those Californians coming here better be conservatives. I think they are. And that's why they left California. <laughs> those aren't brown emojis in the pool. Oh, no. 
James Blunt. Dave Siebert said, Iceberg. Things you don't want to hear on your cruise ship. Survivor cruise. Don't mind the water leaking in your room. <laughs> All right. I guess I was mistaken as to why they called it the poop deck. <laughs> Is that Keith Morrison flying over in a helicopter with a camera? All right. We ran out of vests, life vests. <laughs> Becky said, swimming lessons on top deck. <laughs> Matthew there said, welcome to budget cruises. Brad said, don't want to hear Nancy Pelosi on board. <laughs> Bobby, this is closing option cruise scary. This is a clothing optional cruise scary. Things you don't want to hear. Chris Martell is here. How are you? What you don't want to hear on your cruise ship. Michelle, we will be changing course through the Bermuda Triangle. All righty. Sarah, I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden, I can, something is weird with uh, Facebook right now. So if you want to use your phone. Nope. Nope. Okay. No, it's not working. Okay, we're doing it on the phone right now. Engines down. Good luck. Don't mind the alligators. They don't bite. <laughs> Iceberg right ahead. <laughs> Our entertainment for the night is Carrot Top and Yoko Ono. Oh, no, you don't want to hear that. No, I don't want to hear that. Man, the lifeboats, women, children. <laughs> Wait. Come on. Okay. What happened? Man, the lifeboats, women, children, and non-binary first. <laughs> That looks like the captain. Where? In that lifeboat with the other crew. Oh, no. You don't want to hear that at all. Must be departing out of San Francisco Bay. I couldn't comment on my computer on my phone. Yeah, that's me too. It's just you have to do it from your phone tonight. We need to stop for gas. Anyone have a fleet card? <laughs> oh, the, sh the ship will be run by our new computer system, H-A-L, created by Sky Network. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, it's time to hydrate and share, people. Remember, Brad Harris and everyone else is new to us. Tomorrow we will not be here or Friday. I'm going to be in Ohio and Indiana. And the weekend, of course, we're off on the weekend. So we should be back, God willing, Monday. But right now, we are not able to be with you guys tomorrow night. Even though this show is nightly at 8.30 p.m. Pacific, we will not be able to be with you tomorrow and Friday. All right, let's see who else. Every man for himself. The ship is going down. Mayday, mayday. <laughs> Things you don't hear. Uh Okay, man overboard, where's my husband? Okay, it looks like someone sucked all the air out of the life vest. Oh no. Welcome aboard vegan cruise lines. <laughs> we have to go to the coast of California to pick up our supplies. You don't want to hear that, don't you? <laughs> this is a Christian cruise. If you fall overboard, just walk back to the ship. That's. All right, I think we have to remove, that's not. Neil, how are you? Thank you for joining us. The question is, what you don't want to hear on your cruise ship? The captain has only three points left. <laughs> okay, shall we pray? We're out of food. <laughs> oh, the poet Tamara K is back with us. Hello, thank you for joining us. If you see pirates running around, be sure and offer them a drink. I'm not a boat captain, but I watch a lot of Sling TV. What you don't want to hear on your cruise ship, just cover the hull with some flex seal. 
It's your time to mend the oars. <laughs> you should have used the restroom before we left. <laughs> That's funny. Hold on, let me see what I can do here. All right, let's see if we can get you a laughter. That is funny, guys. That is funny. Okay, let's see. Ah, he should have used the bathroom before we left. That's funny. Okay, let's see. This is the Coast Guard. Pull the ship over. Okay, I think I can comment, but I can't really see anyone else. Just might have to listen to them. No, do it on your phone. That's uh, attention. Please secure your life jacket and cement shoes. <laughs> We are pleased to announce all the wine has been turned into water. It's a miracle. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Amway's created the screws. <laughs> are we there yet? <laughs> you don't want to hear that. Are we there yet? The Canadian duct tape crews. This ship is sinking and we don't have any lifeboats. We were told the ship was unsinkable. Yeah. Allah Akbar. <laughs> you don't want to hear that on a cruise ship, do you? If you get the runs, don't drink the water. <laughs> Tonight's movie, Titanic. Welcome to Christian. <laughs> Welcome to the set of Kaku Cocoon 3. If you're 65 or older, shirts off. Welcome to Noah's Ark. The immersive experience. Bunking with buffalo and bobcats. Please clean your stalls daily. <laughs> Welcome to Titanic 2. Dad, what's a torpedo look like? <laughs> you don't want to hear that on a cruise ship. If someone offers you to walk the plank, run. Welcome to the Red October. <laughs> but that's a submarine. Okay. All right. I we be chasing the black pearl. She be the fastest ship in the whole world. <laughs> That's Welcome to Christian Cruise Line. Dancing in the spirit tonight in the ballroom adjacent to the baptismal swimming pool. Okay, Bob Barker is hosting prices right now on the Lido deck. That's scary. Tonight's movie, Airplane and Airplane 2. Tonight's entertainment, Alvin and the Chipmunks. If you see Goofy, Mickey, Donald, and Ploto, you know you're not in the happiest place on earth. All right. What you don't want to hear on a cruise ship. Don't worry about the yellowish tint and odor in the water. It's fully safe to drink. Ouch. Martina Silvia is here with us. Hello, Martina. Welcome. What you don't want to hear on your cruise ship. Bobby said, if Bill Gaither is your cruise director, ask for a refund. Chris Rossetti can be used as a flotation device. <laughs> Our captain and his crew are the pirates who don't do anything. <laughs> Vegetail, right? We're the pirates that don't do anything. <laughs> B blessing everyone. Hello, Martina. What you don't want to hear on your cruise ship. Our morgue is full. Put them in the kitchen freezer. <laughs> you sure you don't want to hear that? Keep moving or we'll think you have frozen nas. Okay. I'm I'm moving. Mm. Mm -mm. Uh, Neil said, has anyone seen nas? We're all out of toilet paper. <laughs> all right. We have some for you if you win. Oh, you won last time. Yesterday.
All right, if you live in Ohio and Indiana, I will be with you guys Friday night near Dayton and Vidalia, Ohio. And then on Saturday, I'll be in Franklin, Indiana. Fred Kamran is watching. Thank you for joining us, first timer. All we ask is uh, city and state where you at, Fred. That's all we ask, one time. Our captain is locked in the brig. The question is, what you don't want to hear on your cruise ship, ramming speed, sir, we're going to need you to stop referring to the captain as Captain Stubing. Every time you see him, this isn't the love boat. Oh, okay. Non-stop to the Bermuda Triangle. Brad said, we're headed to Epstein <laughs> Fantasy Island. Free Hillary autographs. Oh, that is, you deserve it. <laughs> okay, I live in California. Is that close? <laughs> Where is the luge team practice? Whoa, the crew's glowing green. Our ship is serving food in the way of intermittent fasting. <laughs> I thought they meant iceberg lettuce. Sorry, we're out of food. I've only been on one cruise in our honeymoon from uh, in Greece, and that was amazing. I mean, back then they had buffets, I think after COVID, and now, like, before COVID, everybody was getting food poisoning from cruise ship. Now, uh, there's... Uh, okay, David uh, Pittinger. Thank you for joining us, David. Let us know what city and state. That's what we ask, one time only. The question is, what do you don't want to hear on your cruise ship? Let's see if... If it's not one thing, it's a rudder. It's a <laughs> destination Canada. All right. What time is it? Okay. In one minute, we have to hydrate and share, people. You know that. Every 15 minutes, we drink water and we share. The first year of this show in 2020, we sanitize and share. Now we don't sanitize anymore because our hands are dry already. There's some filmmakers here. Something about them making Final Destination 6. If your captain's name is Captain Kirk, you'll be going warp speed. Clovis, California. All right, David. I love Clovis. Uh, actually, I used to perform at Northside Church there. Pastor David uh, Rutherford there. All right. Oh, no. No hydration on the ship. Okay. It's 9 o'clock, people. Every 15 minutes, you drink any liquid you like, and you hydrate. All 85 people. Anyone else find it disturbing? The captain has a large... Just here to let off some steam tattoo on his back. <laughs> All right, Frank is in Fresno, and David Petting, uh, David Pettinger is in Clovis, which is very close. Speed three on the cruise ship. All right, I might have to change the question on you. I think nobody told me this was a nudist cruise. Oh no. Okay, let me change the question on you so you guys can. Let's see. The question is, here's the question. And pin, give me bad doctor's names. Give me some bad doctor names give me some bad doctor's names let's see still be aware of gas <laughs> joe is here our professional chef from knott's berry farm joey stilson wasn't this supposed to be a three-hour tour should the hull be made of duct tape dr hackett the <laughs> You guys are fast. Dr. Cold Dance. 
are the Super Bowl champion Los Angeles Rams on this cruise. Dr. Wackett, Dr. Fauci, Dr. Ben Dover, Dr. Oops, Kildare, Dr. Jekyll, and Mr. Hyde, right. Uh-oh, we lost the lifeboats. Dr. Nine Fingers. <laughs> Physician Fizz and Diz. Dr. Never Gloves. Oh, that's, you guys are fast. That's funny. All right, today I'm reading from my phone because Facebook is refusing to, to make the comments just scroll. My chiropractor was Dickie B. Crooks. True story. Dickie B. Crooks. <laughs> Dr. Hack a lot. Oh, no. Is that your, that's your, like, what? Respiratory doctor. <laughs> Dr. Biden. <laughs> Anita Esperanza, how are you? Thank you for joining us. The question is, bad doctor's names, and uh, because it's your first time, just give us city and state where you at. That's all we ask once. Uh, Dr. Biden, Dr. Jill Biden, <laughs> Dr. Rescinded Lyson, <laughs> Rescinded Lyson, Dr. Forgot Degree, <laughs> Dr. Forgot Degree, Dr. Billet, Dr. Cook, Dr. Broke joint, broken Joints, Dr. Uno, Dr. Dumbum, <laughs> Dumbum, Dr. Bills, Dr. Doolittle, <laughs> he does nothing, Doolittle, Dr. Jerk Knee, <laughs> Dr. Malpractice, <laughs> Dr. Do Friends, Dr. Do Friends, <laughs> Dr. Do Friends <laughs> instead of Tour de France. Doctor sees a lot of spots. <laughs> Doctor, I'm a Patton. Patton. I'm a Patton. Emma Patton. Doctor Affleck. Yeah, all of a sudden the comments won't scroll to me either. It's from Facebook. Before it was right after I accidentally clicked on something. No, it's not you. It's something. Doctor Cheatham. We are Dr. Cheatham. Alrighty. Bad doctor's name. Not a doctor, but I play one on TV. Doctor, I'm poking eye out. Doctor, I'm poking eye. Doctor, blind Einstein. Doctor, fraud. Doctor, Pfizer. <laughs> Dr. Parkinson's. <laughs> that should be Dr. Emma Payne. I'm in pain. <laughs> Emma Payne. Dr. Pepper. Right. Dr. I-C-U-P. <laughs> Dr. Hitler. Dr. Cold Hands. Dr. Freeze. Dr. Kevorkian, of course. Scary. Dr. Rude Ruth. Dr. Frankenstein. All right. Okay. Dr. Pepper. Bad doctor's names. Let's see. Dr. Friendly. James Blind is back with us. Dr. Sherlock Krabs. <laughs> Sherlock Krabs. Dr. Blood Loss. <laughs> Dr. Too Friendly. I <laughs> know. Dr. Doogie Hauser. Yeah. Dr. Pain in the Butt. <laughs> Dr. Hansi. <laughs> Dr. Divorce. <laughs> okay, Bobby. <laughs> Dr. Y'all Gonna Die. <laughs> Yoga. He's, he's from Yugoslavia, right? Y'all Gonna Die. This is funny. We don't care where our doctor from. You know what I mean? Like, I told you guys one. Your doctor can be from Afghanistan. He can be from Iran. He can be from Iraq. He can be from China, Russia. It doesn't matter. 
He's a doctor. You respect him. You let him check you. Now, if your if your flight captain is Middle Eastern, you're concerned. If the chef at the sushi place is Latino, you'll be upset, right? <laughs> you want anybody or African American or even you know Caucasian at the sushi place behind the 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 chef table. <laughs> You don't want that, right? See? We're all discriminatory in a good way. Dr. Play one on TV, Dr. Stone, under the grandstands by Dr. Seymour Butts. <laughs> okay, bro. The Dr. Yon the Fritz, Dr. Strange, Dr. Regrets, Dr. Naz, Do, Dr. Nigerian Prince, Dr. Fondle. <laughs> I think he lost his license, Dr. Fondle. Dr. Unlicensed, here we go. <laughs> Dr. ICU. Dr. Intern. <laughs> Dr. Naughty Bits. <laughs> Dr. Oogie Boogie. <laughs> Would you trust a Dr. Oogie Boogie? You know, <laughs> even if he writes a prescription, you're not going to, you're not going <laughs> to, the pharmacist is not going to clear it, cash it. Really? Dr. Oogie Boogie? <laughs> Dr. Fred of Needles? Dr. Fungus? Kristen Ann, welcome back. Dr. Ara Practice? Dr. T? Good night, everyone. See you next time. Thank you, Chris. Remember, I'm not here tomorrow or Friday because, and Saturday and Sunday, I'll be in the Midwest on Eastern Time. Dr. Ponzi? Dr. Oops? Dr. No One Home, Dr. I yank him, DDS, the dentist, I yank him with no Novocaine. The canine doctor, the bad doctor, doctor actually like this star, doctor actually like this star, doctor broken bones, doctor laugh out loud, Dr. Feel Young, Dr. All I Can Prescribe Antibiotic. He's not a doctor, he's a physician assistant. <laughs> Document, Dr. Feet. All right, hold on, people. Beaut All right, doctor, doctor, document, doctor, feed, doctor, human, human, tree, doctor, film, DDS, doctor, dare, doctor, doctor, hiccup, doctor, stab him, doctor, beauty break, doctor, horror moans, doctor, I see you. Okay. Let's see what do we got. Amy Alvina McLean Lee, welcome. Doctor, feel good. Give us bad doctor names. Doctor, bad feet. <laughs> doctor, fill them up. Doctor, insurance won't cover this. Christine Ann, Doctor Pepper, Doctor, fill his wallet. <laughs> Fill, fill his wallet. Dr. Giggles. Dr. Clunz. <laughs> Klutz. Dr. Doom. Mm. The superhero. Hi from Cole's Warehouse in San Bernardino. Hello, Amy. I think you're on a break. Give us some bad doctor's names. Dr. Blue, Cla <laughs> Blue Cross. You know what I did all day today? I was working with Voice of Refugees in Anaheim. 
dealing with staff and executive directors and all that. I haven't done comedy, so tomorrow I'll be flying most of the day. I'll leave California at 1 p.m. I will arrive in Ohio at 10.30 p.m. Pray that the storm, there's a storm in Chicago that will not impact it. Doctor feeling bad, Dr. Bowinkle, Dr. No Good, Dr. Straight Jacket, Dr. Stranger Things, Dr. Lip <laughs> Leprechaun, Dr. Benover, Dr. Crazy. Amy's on lunch right now. We'll pray for you. Thank you. Dr. I lean to the left. <laughs> I lean to the left. <laughs> Meatloaf and veggies. Dr. M. Patient. <laughs> Dr. Phil Royal Flush. Okay. It is time for the Guinness Book of World Records. Guinness Book of World Record, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, here's a question. Today is National Almond Day, if you didn't know. National Almond Day. And the largest Chinese almond cake was made by Civil Aid Service Hong Kong and displayed in the Zongshan Gangdong, China on March 23, 2008. How much did this cake weigh? The largest Chinese almond cake weighed over 10 pounds, under 500 pounds. Over 10 pounds, under 500 pounds. You have three guesses. And if you guess the right number on the Guinness Book of World Records, you win this beautiful toilet paper, soft and expensive to play, baby. So you get you have three guesses. If you come close to the number or you hit the number, you win. Now, it's over 10 pounds, under 500 pounds. How much did this cake, Chinese almond cake, weigh? It? Let's see your numbers. And let's see, lunch now. Dr. Ferreira, Dr. Vegabond, Dr. Sassy, Dr. Neurotic, Neurotic, Dr. Neurotic. Dr. Anita, more training. <laughs> Anita, more training. Dr. Bowling me around. Oh, Dr. Lazy. Dr. Goonies. Okay, Troy. Troy Kester said 250, 75, and 300. Let's see. Dave Ebert said 325, 257, and 59. Bobby, 125, 150, 175. Sarah, 57, 157, and 357. Okay, let's see. Okay. 443, 119, and 222 for Michelle Wollison. 15 pounds for Amy. The rooster ruby the red would, lo would love some of that almond cake. Sure. Doctor, dig them up. Christian Ann said 200, 450, and 360. Amy said 12 pounds. Martina, 199, 220, and 450. Amy, 300. Dr. Never Practice. Becky Ottenberry, 123, 234, and 345. Rita, 1, 111, 344, and 445. Nancy Marcheretta is waiting, watching, not just waiting, but watching. The question is, today is National Almond Day. What is the largest Chinese almond cake weighted? Over 10 pounds, under 500? And while you're at it, people, please hydrate and share all 90 people. Let's see, Nancy said 337, 442, and 279. 47, 117, 384 for Dolores. 50, 250, and 400 for Kirk Herberston from North Carolina. Troy Kester, how is it going, Naz? Hello, Troy, how are you? Frank, 123, 233, and 415. 
Sarah said, Dr. Sir Gone. Dr. Red of Hiccups. Dr. Hoopalong. <laughs> Hopalong. Catherine Allen is watching. Dr. Abracadabra. <laughs> Abracadabra. Dr. <laughs> Dr. OMG. Dr. Apples never kept my patients away. <laughs> One oh nine, two oh three, and two ninety nine for Neil. Amy said, "Doctor Mushrooms." Michelle said, "Doctor Lancelot." <laughs> Doctor Go Round. Doctor Hangover. Kirk said, "Fifty, two fifty, and four hundred." Doctor All Go Wrong. Doctor Eye Patch. Doctor Oz. <laughs> Doctor Leave You in the Waiting Room Too Long. Alan Goodwin. Nas, prayers for laughs and new souls in your travels this weekend. Thank you, daily family, until we all come together again. Prayer for good health and blessing for joy and prosperity. See you then. Thank you, Alan. Appreciate you. All right, Dr. Flat Top. Dr. Show Me the Money. Dr. Heal Good. Dr. Mini Wrench in Your Belly. <laughs> Brad said 342 pounds. Dr. Google, Dr. Break Them Up. Okay, fine, I'll take the creepy laugh if the audience laugh track isn't working. I forgot which button, sorry. All right, guys, are you guys ready for the answer? All 88 people, are you ready for the answer? Okay, I have to update mine, though. It's high of 300, 109, 333, and 466. Dr. Left Me in Stitches. Okay, here we go, Catherine. Okay, the answer is, ladies and gentlemen, of course, you shouldn't be looking it up on Google or anywhere else. If you did, let us know so we can just not give you the gift. So we're late, but hello, everyone. There's called almonds on the tree, but almonds on the ground because they shake the L out of them. Almonds. <laughs> okay. Dr. In inebriated dr begone sold sold dr sold dr sold dr phil popper hello catherine dr dre sold 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 dr veterinarian all right here we go the largest chinese almond cake weighted 342 pounds <coughs> 342 pounds now brad is new with us first time he googled it thank you for being honest appreciate it i should have said that in the beginning so you don't get to enjoy the toilet paper but rita who came the closest with 344 gets to enjoy this toilet paper for sure totally because ah uh, it was becky who said 345 and then rita immediately went with 344 and it was really so close it was Becky Itchenberry said 345. Then Rita right away said 344. So Rita is a winner. Congratulations, Dr. Tuplay. Doc in and put. Dr. T2 Depressor. Dr. Invincible. All right. Waiting 30 seconds to make sure we have the right winner. I think it is Rita. Trust me. Congrats, Dr. Dudu. Okay. All right, Rita. Thank you, Michelle, for trusting me. Even though, by the grace of God, a couple times the numbers were not matching. But uh, we had to change the winner in the last second. But thank you. Way, way to learn, Sarah. <laughs> uh, travesty. I am full of crap. <laughs> okay. We love you, Brad. Join us every weeknight, starting next Monday, because we're off tomorrow and Friday, since I'm in town, out of town. Dr. Gazalot, Dr. Never See You, Dr. Sleepy. All right. Uh-oh, I lost. Oh, here we go. Good. I love it. On the phone, Dr. All Go Wrong. Dr. Eyepatch. Dr. Bounce Around. Dr. Knockout. Dr. Sleepy. Doc In and Out. Op. Oops. Dr. Snots. 
Dr. Cranky. Dr. Pinch Nerve. <laughs> You're on tonight, Sarah. Dr. Substance. Dr. Narcolepsy. <laughs> Dr. Heavy Breathing. <laughs> Go somewhere else. <laughs> get a second opinion, Dave. Really, get a second opinion. Dr. Tuna Breath. Think about me working the late shift at... Okay. We'll be praying for you, Amy. Dr. Done with this. I think we are in one minute right now. Doctor, who knows what's wrong with you? <laughs> who knows? You should, doctor. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, this is the time. Dr. Snow a lot. Dr. Full time. Okay, it is time, if you're new with us, at 9.23, which is coming in about Dr. Dreamer, Dr. Dead Eye, Dr. Nazareth Gonzalez, since he's left. He's, he felt so Mexican after 9-11. Dr. Overy. <laughs> Overy. Okay. It's 9-23. It is time. Where you let us know what you want us to pray for you. If you have any prayer requests, please say it now. We'll be praying for you. We're praying for Amy. She has a long shift. Uh, red eye. Red eye. <laughs> what, graveyard shift. So pray for her. Pray for my trip this weekend. That tomorrow the weather will be nice. That I can travel. Or the whole weekend. I need to drive from Ohio to Indiana. So pray that the weather is so nice. And, it, and all the flights are on time. There's Nelda's doorbell. Those are my church bells. Not doorbells church bells why don't you ring me be he ring my bell okay and spoken for shara uh, for sarah dr graveyard for michelle my carpal tunnel surgery on friday on my left wrist finally keep pray bobby in prayer this friday for his carpal tunnel praying your safety Naz. thank you praying for nasir troy thanks for blessing He's bestowed on me and unspoken ones I have. He knows. We'll be praying for that. My 91-year-old mom tested positive for COVID. Yes, we pray that it's not bad. If it's the Omicron, I pray that it's just very fast and doesn't have a lot of side effects. Dr. Buhu, any updates on the baby? Any updates? Which baby? Let's remind me. Susie Mitchell is watching. Hi, Susie. We are, you reached us now, what is time, we ask for prayer. Do you have any prayer requests? We'll be praying for you. Not on the show, but we'll be praying for you through the week. Dr. Dribble a lot. Anybody needs prayer? Maggie Jo and her son's respective eye issues and getting better, but please keep them in prayer until they are complete, okay? Praying for Nan. Thank you, Sarah. Dr. Stitch me. All right. The Ella, yes. Ella is, was going through the, I think, the last stages, the last dose of the chemotherapy. She's five years old now. And also pray for Remy and his sister Stella. Stella just came from the doctor today. Still didn't get the updates on that three-year-old with the tumors in the heart and in the spine. And then her brother was with us last night. He's at Magic Mountain today, Six Flags. But he still needs to see a hospital, a research hospital, to find out what's wrong with him. So, uh, let's see. So, keep them in prayer. Pray for a permanent location for my church. We're probably in need a new home soon. Pray for Bobby and I to get a house or bigger apartment. We need space. Okay, we'll be praying for that. Pray for the nation and the whole world. Thank you. Thanks, Brad. Just a lot of personal things going on. That's all I can say. Okay. Well, do, you don't have to tell us, guys. If you feel you need to tell me, you can message me. We'll be, I'll be praying for you. Praying for my sister and children and my home purchase. Okay, Martina. Pl prayer for Lorraine having surgery in the morning. Courtesy. Courtney is having MRI for diagnostic purposes tomorrow. Praying for Nance Travel Mercies and blessing in his programs. Thank you. My sister is recovering very nice. Awesome, Frank. That's awesome. Pray for the doctors doing my surgery. We will. 
So thankful for this show. It really helps a lot. See you all next week, Lord willing. Thank you so much. Just want to encourage you a little bit here. And, uh, you know, in John 8, where the story of the, you know, the Pharisees bringing the woman caught in adultery and throwing her in front of Jesus while he was teaching at the temple and saying, this woman is caught in adultery and, uh, you know, Moses' law said we have to stone her. What do you say? And they're trying to get him. They're trying to trap Jesus. Because first of all, they should have brought both of them, the man and the woman, not just the woman by herself. Now, if Jesus said stone her, what the Pharisees is going to do, they're going to go to the Romans and say, look, you guys are only have the capital punishment law. We, you don't, we don't have the right to, to kill someone. But now here is this rabbi, Jesus, is doing that. So they want him to get in trouble. If he says, no, I don't condemn her, then you know what? Uh, they go, oh, you're not following Moses' law. Uh, but Jesus said, you know what? He, he stooped down and started writing on the ground. No one knows what he wrote. But some people think it's he wrote the sin of these people. He said, he, with you here, without sin, let him throw the first stone. If any of you is without sin, throw the first stone. And one by one, they started leaving because they all were sinners. And everyone left from the old to the young. And finally, because in the law of uh, Jewish law by then, they said if someone is a witness to a crime or something, he has to throw the first stone. And that's a lot of pressure. So that makes you very... Uh, Careful when you go and say, oh, I saw this crime. Because you have to start the killing of that person. Remember, stoning a person was execution. It wasn't just like lashes. No, that's execution. You're killing. And you're the first one to, to throw the first rock, that the first pain on that person. So people were careful. But nobody could do that. So they all left. So the woman is laying there saying, what is this rabbi going to do? Is he going to kill me, stone me? He said, you know what? Neither do I condemn you. Neither do I condemn you. But then he didn't stop there. He said, go and sin no more. See, a lot of people memorize that verse. People who are not living a righteous life, they're going, oh, he without sin, let him throw the first stone. But you know what Jesus said after that? Go and sin no more. You know what? There's a... Uh, it is Romans 8, the first verse said, There is no condemnation now to those who are in Christ Jesus, who live not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. If you're holding the guilt of the world and thinking Jesus hates you and mad at you, and you love Jesus, but you're fearful, guess what? You're not condemned. He said in John 3, I did not come to condemn the world. But the, he, you know, he said, I did not. You know, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And this is the condemnation that light has come into the world. But people like darkness more than light. But if you like the light, if you like Jesus, there's no condemnation on you. So go this week and don't be holding, oh, I'm, I'm a sinner. You know, repent, turn away. If you're doing something that you know doesn't please the Lord, Go and sin no more. But if you're not and you're trying to please the Lord and you're still feeling guilty, I want you to know there's no condemnation to you. Amen. I love you guys. Have a great, great weekend. Sorry I'm taking two days off, but I have to be out of town. So I'll see you Monday night, 8.30 p.m. Pacific time, God willing. Thank you for all the new people who join us. Have a great night and see you.